Tamuk Gabamuk Tanuekek Ujbar Nobar Kek. Out of date says there'll be consequences of the war, but there are more pressing matters at hand. The last World Eater has been left undisturbed with the tree while you focused on the war. He guessed someone with your dark perspective and key would prioritize resolving the tribe war before facing the World Eaters. Regardless, Out of Date is grateful the tribe war is over. Out of Date understands the road has been rough, but you already know what's left to end this journey, and it'll be tough. You're the only one that's strong enough to face the last World Eater. The New World Order can only be achieved by someone with a dark perspective, even if that means letting the final World Eater attack the tree too. Only time will tell what the future holds, and if it will bring a lasting peace for those that make it to the end. Out of date says the word about what you've done so far is spreading. The tribes haven't lost hope yet. He appreciates what you've done so far. But unfortunately, he's had urgent news from his friend Wiz in the Northwest. He knows you're good-hearted enough to give Wiz the support he needs. He says he'll point you in the right direction, but finding Wiz and making sure he gets what he needs is up to you. That doesn't sound good. Out of Date's hunch is real. The Merc Puff is up next. Sound good. Out of Date's hunch is real. The Merc Puff is up next. Out of Date says that Wiz is worried now that the Northwest World Eater is stepping up its activity. He explains that Wiz is working on an undersurf vessel in order to get to the World Eater, but needs help to get it done. Out of date suggests that you should head northwest as fast as possible and see what you can do to help. He's happy to help. Says you should take it easy. The Surge Surf Factory. Keep your eye out for Wiz while you're here. Let's see. Look at the notices on that board. No one paid much attention to them, it looks like. Wiz should be around here somewhere. A surge surf factory was one of the cleaner ways to make power, until the surf turned into goo and clogged it all up, that is. The thicker the surf became with goo, the more the machinery clogged up and stopped working like most things from the bygone.
Woos isn't easy on the tongue, but I think he says he's happy to see a friendly face. Not too many of those around these days. Says it's good to see you again. He's Wiz. You might remember him from the old days when he let you try his octopod? Wiz remembers you were such a cheery kid, and he's glad to see that light hasn't faded from you, despite the years. Despite the years. But Wiz understands it was a long time ago, and memories get murkier the deeper you go, but says it helps to have friends with you to plumb those depths. It was a tragedy, but also sad that you chose to leave. It's a miracle you made it on the outside on your own. That land is harsh, they say. Wiz says our memory keeps things for us, preserves them until we are ready to face them again. He knows you've returned to face Looper Lupin, and that confrontation is as inevitable as the tides. He's not surprised that the loss of your family could plunge you into the depths forever, but you've always been able to rise like a bubble to the surface, no matter what. He knows that though the tides of history may push you in one direction, you can always lay your own course. He feels you've deserved revenge because of how you were wronged. You've suffered enough to make him pay. Well, speaking for the dark, we approve. Can't believe they let you manipulate them like that. You're just jealous that you're no good at it. Who would want to be good at manipulating people? Winners. That's who. Asks if you ever think about freedom and whether any of us really has it. Did you make the decisions that brought you here, or are you just a pawn of fate? Maybe that's true for you, but he's not so sure about his own fate. Amazed the world is going to continue on, but happy to hear it. Still so many things to invent. Wonders why you felt like kicking the world so hard when it was already down. Thinks you were smart to join with the Myriad. They have a rainbow of ways to approach any problem. Thinks that kind of diversity brings strength. But that's not nearly as important as this. Wiz says that you should let the past dwell in the depths. But there's something else down there too, gnawing at the Tree of Life. He's named it the Merc Puff. This is why he's tinker-tonkering with the octopod. But the lid got stuck, so he needs a big enough tug twister to open it up and let you a go in. He can't leave the surge station, so you must help him find a tug twister. There's a wound up mecha fingro in the mecha stadium that still has one stuck on its back. Find it, and you'll find the tug twister. Don't want to point a finger, but the Mecca Stadium is near here. The best stories are about heroes. This is such a story. Just a few moves left, make them count.
you need to line up the switches so they match. Just a few moves left, make them count. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework. You need to loosen the bolts without unsettling it. Just a few moves left, make them count. That's it, the tug twister's loose. Let's hope it turned the grabbing hand into a helping hand, too. He believed the tug twister would do the trick, but now realizes brute force won't do the trick. You need something slick. Well, he means slick, as in greasy, so you can lube the hinges of the lid. He can't argue against the fact your fur's shiny. He says the lid should open if you sprinkle grease it. Problem is, he's all out. He knows his old friend Choo Choo always keeps his grease sprinklers well filled. He should have an extra that you can borrow. He stresses that you should come back as soon as you've retrieved the grease sprinkler. The Merc Puff is crunching bark by the minute. Wiz heard he's currently stranded at the end of the line, so it should be easier to track him down now compared to when he's running rails. You've reached the end of the line. Bet you can find Choo Choo here. Rubber scrout, great for when you need a bit of flex. Choo Choo knew he would make it to him one day. All you had to do was follow the steel path. The rails might be getting rusty, but eventually they all converge on him. Go. Claims rails are like rules. If you follow them the way you're supposed to, everything good in life can roll your way. Says you followed the rails to where you need to be, but tracks have switches in them too. The question is then, will you keep on the same track or look for a way to hit that switch? 
He thinks you're on a dark path right now, but there's no reason you can't find a wheelhouse and get yourself turned around. Whichever way you go, he wants you to know that the rails never steer you wrong. Stick to them and they always bring you right to where you're meant to be. Wants to know if you've ever regretted taking one track in life instead of another. If you could go back, would you switch tracks or keep chugging along the one you're on? Thinks everyone has. No one's perfect every time. Seems like the world came out of its rut and is chugging toward higher ground again. Says the world might have lasted longer if you hadn't stomped on the go pedal so hard. But let's not get derailed. Says he's surprised to see anyone this far out, but sometimes the wrong train does take you to the right station. As you can see, he didn't plan to make a stop here, but now that he had to, he's really happy to see you. He says his name is Choo Choo. He's been off track since the world started dying, but he's trained his mind to stay positive regardless of the situation. Thinks that's fine, but there's no path in this world that's not been already made. He's convinced the tracks are like the paths our lives take, and you must deal with the outcome, even if you didn't lay them yourself. This time, though, he was sidetracked and needs a new wingnut to get back on track. Wingnuts are easy to find, as they're fitted on any in-front chugger-chugger out there. The chap says there's nothing to it. Just don't let the chugger chug you down. Keep them in the dark. That's the way. Yes, yes, turn toward the light. What? But the light burns. The dark just doesn't. Consider yourself burned, Dark. Ouch! Stop it. The oil claimed this land a long time ago. Choo Choo says he knew you'd come through. If someone makes a stop at your station, it's for a good reason. But he understands no one gets their tracks greased for free. He'd be happy to part with his spare grease sprinkler, as he believes it's a great fit for any of your business that needs to be unstuck. He keeps it safe in a box on the handcart, in case of emergency. Wants to keep it there in case of an emergency, but realized it's long overdue already. The world crumbling and all. Choo Choo says you should help yourself to the grease sprinkler. It's a versatile tool from the bygone, a last of its kind, so don't let it go to waste. He's convinced you'll put it to good use, as there are lots of stuckies out there that need greasing to open. Seems glad you think so. You're on the right rail. Choo Choo says he can't wait to get out of this place. We'll be around when you return. You shouldn't worry about smashing up the box. Choo Choo has no use for it now. Choo Choo says he feels strongly about helping his next, just like you did for him. He's convinced there was a bigger reason you met. Sometimes the wrong train will take you to the right place. 
my love. He believes you've got what it takes to make a difference. He's witnessed it himself. Says fate is like the rails. They lead in certain ways, and you can only fight that for so long if you want to get anywhere. Choo Choo's thrilled you found the Ark. Just imagine how much faster than a chug that thing must be, and no rails needed. Bets it could fly circles around any chug yard. Makes him dizzy to think about it. The world's on the mend, so no need to leave it. But just think of all the places the Ark could take you. Hopes you'll be careful with the Ark. That's the last one around these parts. Wonders who you might call aboard the Ark with you. So what we have here is someone looking for a way out if everything fails. There's a seat open up. What really happens when you... Let's agree. But it's hard to discover. Regardless... Hopes you figure out someone better to ride the Ark with you, if that's possible. Choo Choo says he's ready to pack up and leave. Says you'll see. Wiz says that there's no plan to confront the Merc Puff until the Octopod is properly armed. He knows you'll need something that packs enough boom to put a dent in that shell, or better yet, head. Pyro sticks will do the trick. He says his old friend Boom makes all things that go bang. There's a rumor that some of Boom's pyro sticks shot off and are out there roaming free. You should keep an eye on the horizon for pyros. If you're fast, you have a shot at catching some of them before they go off. It's like a bomb on a stick that moves really fast. That's a bang plant, where Toxanol used to make all sorts of splody things before it blew up in their faces. Even with the world ending, there are fresh days ahead. That looks like an unbanged pyro stick on the loose. Better catch it before it goes off.
The pyro sticks will cause a bang, but targeting is on you. At least now you have a chance to hurt the Merc Puff where it counts. He hopes so as there's no plan B, or more correctly, plan C. Out of date has named this plan B. Plan A was to take on the World Eaters by foot, or flaps in this case. Turns out swimming down there was a bad idea. Wiz has been working on another cannon, but instead of pyro sticks, it squirts guppos, scaly distractions for anyone with an appetite disorder and irresistible for the Merc Puff in particular. <laughs> Seems the best way to find guppos is go talk to Gil. He has a natural sonar and knows where the guppos sub the surf. <laughs> this means you'll have to go visit Gil at Burblebottom. Find Gil and he'll be able to tell you where to find the guppos. Guppos are lively beings and they're fast too. They're here, there and everywhere. Or at least they used to be. His friend Wiz needs guppos for one reason or another and Gil is ready to point you in the right direction. But here, you're only going to find dead ones. He's pretty sure Wiz wants them alive. Well, at least the ones that aren't already rotting. If you head in the right direction, you'll find a clean enough bit of surf to snag yourself some guppos. Then you can get them to Wiz for whatever he has in mind. Helping both you and Wiz makes him double happy. Just a few moves left, make them count. M beginning your brain. How far does this underplace go on? Small things for your big ideas.
Dal Parat Iranta. That seems to be enough guppos to provide the octopod with infinite ammunition. Um, He's surprised the Merc Puff's been able to hold its breath all this time. It's just another proof of the evolutionary change caused by Toxanol's contamination. Being underserved has meant the Merc Puff has been left alone to munch on the root down there undisturbed. This means the Northwest Root has suffered more damage than the others. The marks the corporation left behind on the land are everywhere, but they also abandoned technology, of which he's sure you only found a fraction. Day to you. Might as well enjoy it.
Thank <laughs> you.